Hello and welcome to the Sun, Sand, and Santa Hop. Things are starting to warm down in the Southern Hemisphere, so we are sharing creations that are full of holiday cheer for the upcoming Christmas season. We hope you find each project as festive as the next. Now at the top of the description box, you will find the link to the next person in the lineup. You can also do a search using the hashtag Sun, Sand, Santa to locate all of the videos in this hop. I hope you take the time to watch all hop videos because we love your comments and thumbs up. Now, if you're not already a subscriber, I hope you'll consider subscribing and click on the little bell so you won't miss any of my uploads. Also, some of us might be offering prizes on our channel, so be sure to pay attention for details. Please check out my description box below for all of those details. Now, I am doing a giveaway on this channel, so you'll want to make sure you comment below and answer the question that I'll ask a little later on in this video. I'm giving away a 6x6 inch paper pad from Echo Park, and I'll announce the winner of the giveaway on December 19th here on my YouTube channel, so make sure you're a subscriber and check back to see if you won. This is a busy time of year, so I'm all about making quick and easy cards. So for my project today, I'm using the Beachy Christmas stamp set from Pink and Main. I just ordered this during their Black Friday sale, and I got it just in time to make this card. I just love the cute Santa images and a swimsuit and the flamingo and the little snowman. I guess it's more like a sandman because it's not made of snow. But I'm taking my Misty stamping platform, and I have a half sheet of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock that I've placed inside and I'm taking a few of these stamps and placing them on top and I'm going to be using my Gina K Amalgam Ink in Obsidian Black to stamp them out and I'm going to repeat this process a few times since this is a new stamp set just to get rid of some of that stickiness from the manufacturing and to make sure that I have a good dark impression. I like to use either Gina K's Amalgam Ink or Memento Tuxedo Black Ink since they're both Copic marker friendly and that's what I'll be using to color my images here in just a bit. Now I'm zooming in some so you can better see what I'm doing and I do want to let you know I have sped this up quite a bit but I am starting with Copic marker color E31 to color the outer edges and everywhere there should be a shadow on my Santa and then next I'm coming in with E30 to fill in the rest of his skin I didn't want to make him too tan you know because he's up in the North Pole most of the time <laughs> anyway I'm coming in next with N0 just to add a little bit of gray to the outline of his beard and to his eyebrows and then for the yellow I used Y02 to color in the the lemonade in his glass and then for the red I started with R29 and I added that along the edges and then I tried to come in with R24 next but my marker was all dried up so I had to use R22 instead but I colored in his flip-flops and then for the darkest shade on the trunk of the tree I used E25 along the edges and then E21 along the center of the trunk and for the leaves I'm using G29 for the darker shade along the edges and then uh, G25 for the lighter shade. Now I started out just line, uh, outlining just the bottom part of the leaf, but I do come back in and add that darker shade to the uh, top edge as well. So next I am alternating the red, yellow, and blue colors on the little Christmas lights around the tree. And I used those same brown shades that I used on the trunk of the tree to color up my snowman. I guess I should call him a sandman <laughs> because uh, he's really not gonna be white. He needs to be brown or that would look kind of funny having a snowman on the beach. Um, so it doesn't make sense to just leave it white. But for the blue in his hat, I used B24. Now I'm not going to show you the coloring that I did of the other images that I ended up not using on this card, but I always like to stamp and color extras and have them on hand so that I can quickly make a card later when I'm short on time. So after coloring all these images, I used my brother Scan and Cut to cut them all out. Um, but this stamp set does have matching dies, so if you don't have a an electronics uh, machine to cut them out, you could easily fussy cut these with a pair of scissors or you can purchase the matching dies. 
Now for the background on my card, I'm using this beautiful beach themed paper pad from Honey Bee Stamps that I've had in my stash. And I'll just quickly thumb through these pattern papers so that you can see them all. And while I do this, to enter the giveaway, make sure you comment below and tell me where you're from. And also what is at the top of your crafty wish list. So to get back to my card, I have selected this pattern that has the clouds and the beach scene, and I'm gonna use that as the background, and I'm trimming this down to measure four inches by five and a quarter inches. So I'm taking some red card stock and I'm cutting out a layer that is an eighth of an inch larger than the background piece, and I just want a little red frame showing. And I'm using a piece of Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock that I've cut lengthwise to make a top folding card base. And I've scored that down at five and a half inches. And then I'm gluing the layers down with some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. Now I placed my images on top to create the scene. And I decided to glue them down flat on the card, but I thought about using some foam tape to pop them up and give it some dimension. But because I'm mailing this card, I just decided to keep them flat. I've placed the card back in my Misty so that I can stamp the sentiment up in the sky. Now, I really like all of the sentiments in this stamp set and I had a hard time picking which one I wanted to use, but I ended up going with the wishing you a beachy Christmas. And so I added the anti-static powder on top and then I'm applying some Ranger Archival Ink in Jet Black because I'll be applying some clear embossing powder on top. Now this ink does stay wet a little longer than most inks. So I just added that clear embossing powder on top and then I used my paintbrush to brush off the excess powder. I like using the black archival ink with the clear embossing powder better than trying to use Versamark ink <laughs> and black embossing powder just simply because I don't have to worry about black little specks of black all over my card and this gives it a nice shine and I think it adds a nice touch. So just so you know I let my heat tool heat up for about 30 seconds before I applied the heat to it. Now for the finishing touches I'm applying some Nouveau Crystal Drops in Morning Dew and this dries clear. And I'm applying it to the Sandman sunglasses, the little lemonade glass in Santa's hand, and to all of the Christmas lights on the tree. And I have these matching rhinestones that match that paper pad. And I'm applying one of the sky blue colored ones next to the sentiment. And also a tan one next to the bottom of the Sandman. And then lastly, I'm coming in with my white gel pen to add some highlights onto both of the hats and also onto Santa's shorts. And this pretty much finishes up my card. I think this turned out really cute and it was really quick and easy to make. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to answer the question that I mentioned earlier. And you have through December 18th of 2021 to watch and comment on all of the hot videos and winners will be chosen randomly. I hope you'll click on the next video in the lineup in the description box to watch the next one. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.